So I wanted to make a quick video showing everybody how to remove the rear seat of a GT350 Mustang. It'd be the same for all S550 Mustangs, including the GT500. Super simple. I do it before track weekends, uh, just so I have a little bit more room to take stuff with me. Uh, but it only takes a few minutes. The only thing you're gonna need is a 15 millimeter deep well socket, uh, an extension, and a ratchet. I like to use an electric ratchet just to make it go quicker, but a regular ratchet works just fine. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the butt portion of the rear seat. Out of the car first, I wanted to show the release mechanism before getting to the whole video. So if we turn this over, the only two places where the seat is held to the chassis, um, in the front where there's a release, is right here in the middle of the front on the driver's side and on the passenger side. So to get this off, you will reach your finger kind of right through there, and you'll push in right on the center. As you push down and depress that, this little latch right here will go down and then allow the seat to pop up, which will be that way. So you'll do one side, then the other, and then you slide the seat out. All right, so now that you've seen what the release mechanism looks like on the bottom of the rear seat, now we can go through the actual procedure. So first thing I do is I scoot both of the front seats forward and lean them as far forward as they go just to make for extra room. So just a reminder, your releases are gonna be right there underneath and right there underneath. So the procedure is gonna be, you're gonna stick your hand or a couple fingers up under there in the middle and you'll just feel for the release. It's kind of the only part your hand will slide back in easily you push right in the middle of that release mechanism, which is kind of like a U, you'll push right in the middle. If you just push on one side of the U, it, sometimes it'll release, sometimes it won't, so go right to the, the back of it, right at the base of the U. You'll push in, lift up about an inch or two, and then you can release it and then set the seat back down, and it, as long as you don't put pressure on it, it won't relatch. You go to the other side, same thing, push in, lift up. Now you can pivot the this area right here. You can pivot that whole thing up and then slide it to the front of the car um, and then take it out through one of the doors. It's pretty simple. All right, so first thing I'm doing is I'm sticking my hand under here, pushing right center that U, lifting up, kind of jiggling a little bit as I do it. Okay, and that side's now up. Now I'm gonna set that back down without pushing on anything. All right, now this side, same thing, pushed up, and you can see it come up on its own. Okay, so now it's loose, so these seat belts are going to kind of hold it in place a little bit. So I'm going to lift up until the seat belts have fallen out, and I'm just going to pull out, and then I'm going to pull it out of the car. All right, just wanted to show where these two bolts are. So here we are in the back. You've got the one right there and one right there. So we'll zoom in a little bit. So there it is right there. That's your first 15 millimeter. That's your second 15 millimeter. And then right here is um, where the seat pivots along this bracket. So this little loop is what stays with the seat and the male portion right there is what stays with this bracket. So once we get this side loose, then we'll slide this loop outside of the bracket. Super simple. You're gonna pull the seat release on the side, and then I'm gonna do this side. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle the seat just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try not to let the bracket scratch along the plastic. So I'm gonna hold the bracket in my right hand, and then I'm gonna start pulling the seat this way to get the loop to come out of the bracket that's attached to the chassis. Okay, that came out, now I'm gonna slide it back into the trunk. This one's gonna be a little bit easier, hopefully. Okay, so I'm lifting up, holding that bracket in my hand, and rocking it back and forth. And that's it. To put them back in, you just go in reverse. So, I'm holding the bracket in my left hand so it doesn't scratch any plastic pushing it into that male portion there. 
setting the bracket in place. I'm gonna thread the nut on first, a couple turns. I'm gonna set the seat down, and then we're gonna tighten it. And the reason why I like to have an extension here is because um, this is, I've found, the easiest way to do it. And with an extension, it's easy to reach it down through here on the top. Okay, that one's done. I'm holding the bracket, my hand on the right side so I don't scratch the plastic. Inserting the male end in, setting the bracket down on top of the stud, threading on this nut, letting it come down. Okay. All right, now we put the butt pad back in. Okay, so before we reinstall the bottom portion of the rear seat, I wanna point out two areas. One, on both sides, there's this little cutout area right here. And that's gonna be for the little spring-loaded bracket that was right by that 15 millimeter nut that we removed. Right there. So that's gonna fit back in this little pocket right here. So be cognizant of that as you stick it in this portion here will go just over the top of that bracket. So you'll stick that part in first, then start lowering the seat. And then once you do that, you're gonna need to stick your seat belts through, which would be right here and right there. And then once you can see your seat belts going in, then you'll push the front down. You don't need to do anything with these latches, the releases, you just push it down and then it'll lock in place. That's it. All right, so now to put the butt pad back in, we slide it in through the door. All right, so these spots on the edges I was talking about go over these little springs and this little bracket. And then this center piece, this is, uh, there's like a hard piece of plastic underneath that leather. So that kind of slips in right there. Those other two slip over the brackets. And then I'm gonna slowly lower it down. And as I do, I'm gonna feed the seat belts into their little pockets until I can see the red kind of release down in the pocket and then lower it down, pull the seat belts up a little bit, hit it that way a little bit to make sure it's back in place. You can see it's kind of sliding and then kind of hit it down, give it a test. That's locked in place. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful.